Hi guys, my kitchen is a big mess this time of year. That's because I'm making the ultimate pot thai with king prawns. I'm bringing in the new year 2023 in style. In my family, it's tradition to celebrate the first day of the year with dishes that contain ingredients with lucky meanings. For instance, king prawns. Well, the name says it all. King represents wealth and luxury. Simply, it is a showstopper. This version of Pad Thai has an unconventional ingredient. Yep, the butter, which will certainly add that buttery taste to the prawns. Quick tips on cooking prawns, do not overcook them. Depends on the size of your prawns, it should take no longer than a minute or two. I'm cooking this dish in stages. After the prawn is fully cooked, take out and set them aside. Next, cooking the aromatics, that's minced garlic and sliced shallots. You can substitute onions for shallots if you don't have it. Once that is golden brown, make a well in the middle and add the eggs. But don't scramble the eggs too much. You want to see some bits and pieces of eggs all over your dish. And then add the red tofu. Red is a lucky color, and tofu represents good health. If you don't have red tofu, add the firm tofu instead. Since I'm cooking a large portion, I'm going all out with extra shrimps to lavish the dish. The more, the merrier. Then adding the pak thai sauce. I'm using my mother sauce number 9. You can get a bottle at Etsy. This is our first round of seasoning. The shrimp should cook pretty fast. And once that's done, take them out and set them aside. Next, the noodles. The long strip, made only from rice and water, which represents longevity. I'm using fresh noodle here, but if you can't find it, use dry noodles. But first, be sure to soak them in room temperature water for at least 15 minutes or until softened. But fresh is best, my friends. Fresh noodles need to be cooked down with water, about a cup. Depends on thickness and brand of your noodles. You may not need the whole cup. Add a little bit at a time to check for doneness or al dente to your liking. Once the noodles is fully cooked, we can start the second round of seasoning. Adding sauce in stages will guarantee full coverage, especially when you're cooking a large portion. At this time, the color should be golden brown and it should look pretty dry, meaning that the water should all be evaporated, not watery nor oily. Again, taste for well-rounded flavor before adding back the shrimp, eggs, and tofu. Lastly, adding bean sprouts and spring onions. Traditional pad thai uses green chives. If you can't find it, use spring onion. onions, that's fine. Take the time to stir the noodles gently. The idea is to not break the noodles. Remember, you want that long string of noodles for longevity. So be gentle. Once that is well mixed, time to plate up. The king's prawns go on top, serve with fresh lemon or lime, and sprinkle with roasted peanuts. I like whole peanuts or crush if you prefer. So use the best ingredients and start your own family tradition. Walk up some delicious stir fry for your family and friends. For the full recipe, please see detail below. For the pad thai sauce, search for mother sauce number nine at Etsy. I hope you're giving this recipe a try and celebrate your first day of the year in style and let it get fit. Fabulous, inspirational, and tasteful. Let's get fit and healthy. Happy New Year and Cheers!